In the age of the hustle economy, where everybody and their mama offer some kind of consultation on the side, who is this nigga Aries? Oh, please, give me the smoke on what I do. In fact, right now, I'll go ahead and ask myself this question. What is a corporeal chaos consultation? Like I said, these days, everybody and their mama offers some kind of consultation on the side. And honestly, why the hell not, right? This is the time where anybody can say anything and be right. As a matter of fact, to question any of that is to be considered low vibration. Me personally, I think that's a scapegoat. That, however, is neither here nor there. What is here is the question of what are these consultations that other people offer and how can what I'm giving you be any different? These days, the standard for a typical consultation that most people will offer on the side of whatever their main service is, is usually a one hour conversation. This will amount to an hour long phone call where the person peddles you motivation and affirmation under the guise of being some type of instructor or teacher. And really, the standards for such are so low you don't even have to offer a particular class. These consultations are a mechanism to offer their clients a window for engagement as a courtesy to their customer base, an addendum to what it is that they primarily do or claim to do in some cases. These hour-long calls amounting generally to a simple pick my brain session that the customer should feel honored to have ever received. With Corporeal Chaos Consulting, I not only offer an option for consulting, consulting is what I do. I'm a consultant. A psycho-spiritual consultant, to be exact. But what does that even mean, though? What does it mean for someone to be a consultant? Now, I have a few videos laying out some of the groundwork for what that idea is, and <laughs> if I can remember, I'll link them in the description below. In short, though, consulting isn't simply something that I do for occultists and spiritualists. It's the main focus of the service that I offer to my clients. All spookiness aside, my main goal, regardless of what particular right tradition, culture, or religion you may follow, practice, or admire, my goal is to make sure that my clients can embody and act out whatever it is that they are trying to act out to the fullest of their potential, even if you don't believe that human is alive. I don't do readings. I don't do motivation and affirmation. I don't do inspirational pieces to make you feel good about the fact that you're living a shitty life. I don't initiate people into any particular archaic rite, order, or tradition. I don't come together to do spooky spells in the physical world where there is no we. Don't eat them. My particular path. But I'm not coming together with you to do a spell. And lastly, I don't spend my time trying to impress you with how much it is that I know. Besides, you being mind blown is not a marker as to whether or not what I'm saying is mind blowing. It has more to do with you and the present state of your mind. But once again, digressing. My goal is not to decide for you what is or isn't truth, what is or isn't real, and what is or isn't right. Only to make sure that you're giving yourself both options of being right and wrong. My job as a psycho-spiritual consultant, but more especially a consultant in general, is to get to the details. The fine print of whatever it is that you claim to be agreeing to. My goal is to meet you where you are, no matter what it is you claim to believe, to assist you in not only gaining more clarity on what it is you're agreeing to, but to help you learn to create for yourself mechanisms that will guide you to your own progress both in a consistent manner and a viable one as well. That way, you're not just repeating a ritual that you read in a book or just doing what I tell you to do. How, though, is the question. Oh, I'm so glad you asked. <laughs> the bread and butter of corporeal chaos is my gold level or premium consultations. For me, I prefer to have more than a single session call and for more than an hour. Why? A couple reasons. First and foremost, because the subject matter of our discussion will be concerning matters you generally have never spoken to anyone about. 
and more than likely will not find anyone else to speak about. You will have plenty that you need to get out. More often than not, you may not have a clear question you want to ask, but a collection of ideas you need to begin to flesh out. That process will most certainly take more than an hour and most certainly more than a single call. Which is why, generally, when you opt for a gold or silver consultation, our first call is spent in discovery, where I focus on making sure that I'm hearing you, as opposed to what I would like to or could tell you. It would be a shame for you to have something to say, forget about it in that first 30 minutes, then spend the next 30 minutes trying to compose a question you never actually thought about how you would ask. And then, by the time that hour's almost done, you finally got the question out, well, how much time do you have to get an answer? A single one hour call, more especially a single session call, is not gonna be enough if you really wanna get to the details. Another thing that is lacking in the hour long pick my brain sessions that most people will offer as a consultation is the inevitable factor of growth over time. After we have the call, let's say a few days go by, new questions are gonna come up. Once your initial days of being mind blown and overburdened with information wears off, not only do your thoughts begin to change, but you begin to change. More especially if, as I like to do in my calls, you're given an assignment to take with you for the rest of the week. If we were to have simply a single call, you'd never get a chance to follow up and see how that progress was changing and growing over time, or even help to clear up any of the new difficulties that may arise from doing something new, or better yet, gain any type of clarity on putting these changes into context of the larger picture that you're trying to see as a whole. In some cases, that lack of feedback is gonna lead to deeper confusion down the road. For that reason, I offer my silver and especially the gold consult, which in my opinion, should be the standard amount of time for any effective consultation. Here, not only do we have our discussion, and I send you on your way with instructions and suggestions on how to begin embodying what you claim to believe, but we get into examining the feedback from those actions in and upon your life. Seeing how the world around you has begun to respond to the change in you, and how that change fits into your continued progress. With both the gold and silver consultations, there's a minimum of three calls. If you're one of those clients that's so certain you only need one call, the option of bronze is available. But as I like to say, a nigga that's comfortable thinking he has the answer will never ask a question. Your choice. However, I do highly suggest the multiple calls, not only for the reasons that I've outlined so far, but because creation and change cannot be separated from the flow of progress over time. Not to consider those in the experience that you are trying to have and gain clarity on, I feel will be a disservice to your entire work. Not only that, the integrity of me calling myself a consultant. The final reason I insist on multiple calls is because I will most certainly give you a few assignments or, said differently, call you to task on what you say you believe. Belief without action is hollow. By its actions, a thing is defined. The focus for those who choose to take this path, especially with corporeal chaos consulting, is self-deification of the left-hand path variety. Even with that being the case, and that being my personal philosophy, I make a special effort not to taint your particular reality. I hold it as an utmost priority not to impose my own beliefs upon you, but to seek out what it is that you say you believe and to find the holes in that foundation so that you can create and build upon that. Something that is sturdy, a building built on a foundation full of holes will eventually crumble back to the ground. My job is to bring light to those paradoxical contradictions in your framework, said differently, to examine the fine print of the agreements that you are making. This fine print, if left unexamined, would leave you either stagnant or otherwise delusional. You get what you ask for. You tell me what you believe. Throughout the large body of work that I have available for people to look at, all for free, 
There are a few sample consultations that I've done with clients who have been gracious enough to offer their personal consultations as examples for anyone else who'd like to listen in. As much as you might think you have no expectations, I guarantee you, you have a few. And if you're still sitting on the fence as to whether or not you should be investing in yourself in this manner, take some time and listen to the samples. Get a feel for exactly what it's like to work with me. The occult community today, more especially the left-hand path, has missed the subtlety and the nature of darkness. My goal is to separate the wheat from the chaff in terms of viable logic when it comes to what people would like to call a science. In the future, I'll be releasing interviews with previous clients that I've had so you can get even more of an idea of what it's like to work with me if the large volume of free content doesn't tell you enough about exactly where it is I'm coming from and the subject matter that we're going to be speaking on. 